In this video, we will see how to provide download links for files and images on our website. We will start off by building a simple web page where we display all the files in a given folder. Next, we will make downloadable links with appropriate MIME type associations to open the files with the right program. Here, I have Spring Tool Suite running on my machine, which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's create a new project by clicking File, New, Other, Spring Boot, Spring Starter Project, and call it File Download. Click Next. Let's choose from the web node, Web, from the templates node, Time Leaf, click Finish. Let's create the controller package and class. So right click on the base package, choose new package, call it com.example.demo.controller, click finish. Create a new class by right clicking and choosing new class and calling it file download controller. Click finish. Let us mark it with the controller annotation. Import it. Let's first create a variable to hold the name of the folder we want to expose for file downloads. You can include it as a property file value or configure it another way. But for simplicity's sake, I am just hard coding the name over here. Let's create a request mapping for the root. Create a method show files, which takes in the model. Inside, we create a file object based on the folder path. Then we get the list of files by calling the folder dot list files method. We add that to the model object as an attribute with the name files. Next, we return the name of the time leaf view show files where we want to show this list. Fix the imports. Now let us create a simple time leaf page. So go to source main resources folder, then templates where time leaf expects it. Let's right click, choose new, other, web, and then HTML file. Name it as show files, the same name our controller is returning. Let's add here the timeleaf namespace. Close the tags as timeleaf is strict. Inside the div, let us put the heading, list of files. Next, within another div, let us do a timeleaf list iteration using th each, reading the files model attribute and fetching the file in the file variable in each iteration. We form a hyperlink with th href using the at sign pointing to slash file, which is an endpoint we will define soon, and then pass the file name as a path parameter using the time leaf dollar file dot get name method. We put the file name to be displayed in the hyperlink. Next, within a span, we call the file dot length method and divide it by 1024 to display the file size in kilobytes. Let's add a style for the div to provide a width and a margin. All right, let us see how things look so far. Run the project by right clicking and choosing run as Spring Boot app. Go to the browser, type HTTP localhost colon 8080 and we see our time leaf page. Here we see the hyperlinks to the files in our folder. Here is the folder where we have pointed it to. The hyperlinks point to the slash file endpoint which we will implement next. Let's go to our controller and create a request mapping for slash files and then the file name path parameter within curly braces. With the response body annotation, we are stating that this method will directly return the content. Let's create a method show which takes the path variable file name of type string and also passes the HTTP servlet response. Inside, first let me copy and paste some code. Here, I'm simply checking if the file name contains a certain pattern and associating it with the appropriate MIME type. So if the file name contains a dot doc, set the content type as application slash MS Word, PDF, then application slash PDF and so on. We are setting the content disposition for the response header as attachment. So it will provide a download option with the same file name. We are setting the content transfer encoding as binary which will accommodate even images. Let's now create a try catch block where we catch the IO exception since we will be dealing with reading the requested file now. We create a buffered output stream 
based on the response stream to send back to the browser. Next, we create the file input stream to read the input file, providing the full path with the folder name and the file name. We initialize an int variable and a byte array of 1024 characters. And then in a loop, we read the file input stream, getting the buffered chunk at a time until the return buffer has a length greater than zero. We write the buffer to the output stream. When we are done, we close the output stream and flush the response. That is it. Let us relaunch the app. Go to the browser, refresh the page. We see our links are still there, but this time clicking on them, for example, clicking on the Excel file, we are presented with an option to save it or open it. Let's save it and it is downloaded. Let us click on the PDF and choose open. Click on the JPEG image and click open and it renders the image properly. Let us click the jar and it rightly recognizes to open it with the archive manager. However, let us save it instead. If we click on the download arrow, we see that the files were successfully downloaded. So in this video, we saw how to display links for our files on the web page using Timeleaf and then implemented a download functionality handling appropriate MIME types. Thanks for watching.